My name is Beverly and I love to draw cats. I'm a professional artist and working from photographs, I've drawn cats from all over the world. I create portraits in colored pencil and then share the story of each cat and the art process here on video. <laughs> Today I'm drawing Archie, a handsome and affectionate cat from New Zealand whose illicit food adventures called for some high-tech surveillance and security measures to solve. Archie was adopted by his human parents from the local SPCA just after they both graduated from veterinary school. Mark and Olya simply couldn't say no when they saw the cute little bundle of ginger and white fluff and brought him home in March of 2008. There's a saying that invention arises from necessity. Well, for Archie, the necessity was to have lots of yummy food in his tummy at any cost. Archie's talent for stealing food debuted in 2009 when he went to live with some friends while Mark and Olya worked in the UK. He surprised his host once by coming home with a fresh venison steak that a neighbor had apparently left out to thaw. Another time, he arrived home bearing a freshly thawed pork chop. Three and a half years later, Mark and Olya returned to New Zealand and brought Archie back home to live. They had just adopted two new cats from their clinical work in the UK named Minnie and Chloe. It wasn't very long before they were forced to purchase automatic sure feeder bowls for the new cats to keep Archie from stealing all their food. Archie's meals, meanwhile, were administered in a slow down bowl which featured obstacles to keep him from inhaling his food so quickly. Occasionally, he was presented with an array of food puzzles, but they were no match for his will or his cleverness. With each one, he'd quickly learn to game the system and score the entire jackpot of kibble at once. Chow hound that he was, Archie might have considered it great luck that Mark was working for a pet nutrition company, but it only meant their goals were now at odds. Mark was concerned for Archie's health and wanted him to lose some weight. Archie just wanted to eat. In 2016, Mark put him on a weight loss formula, but noticed after a couple of months that Archie was putting on more weight and had become quite rotund. He decreased Archie's rations until he was barely eating half a pouch a day, hardly enough to maintain a grown cat. And yet, Archie's girth continued to expand mysteriously. Every day after breakfast, Archie would go outside for about an hour and then come back to the house all smoochy and cuddly before he went off to sun himself on the bed. Mark suspected Archie was surfing for food around the neighborhood. Hoping to learn something about Archie's secret life, Mark outfitted his cat with a GPS collar. He was surprised to discover over time that Archie's range extended to 70 properties in his townhouse community. He also noticed Archie logged a visit to one of the houses at the end of the block every morning without fail. To delve deeper, Mark attached a small video camera to Archie's collar. In the first few videos, Mark learned exactly what Archie had been up to. The house at the end of the block turned out to have an unlocked cat flap. In each of the videos, Archie would make a beeline to that house, go right up to the cat flap, and then pause to look around. If the coast was clear, he'd enter the house. The first couple of times, Archie scrambled back out again to avoid being discovered by a resident human or cat. But in another video, he successfully made his way to his secret treasure, a double food dish heaped with dry kibble and a plate filled with wet food. For the next 15 minutes, Archie went back and forth between the food dishes, looking over his shoulder now and then until everything was gone. He even sniffed around the bags of cat food nearby, giving away the exact ingredients of his ill-gotten booty. The very next day, Mark visited Archie's victims, a family with two Bengal cats, and showed them the video. They were shocked and surprised, but also found it hilarious. Mark and Olya paid to have a new cat door with a microchip reader installed for them. About a month later, though, Archie had figured out how to gain entry by pulling the door toward him. Mark sent a video with the evidence to the cat flap company, which replaced it with a raccoon proof door. Again, Archie figured out how to get inside, this time by holding his head to one side of the sensor that was supposed to prevent an intruding animal from being able to pull the door towards itself. 
By this time, it had been a good four or five months since Archie had started his diet. It took a third door with a customized raccoon proof solution to curb Archie's extracurricular eating for good. Eventually, Archie's weight improved. Although Mark and Olya gave him the very best care possible, his health declined suddenly in the spring of 2019 and he crossed the Rainbow Bridge. In addition to fond memories of his cuddly nature and humorous antics, Archie left his family with a charming lesson in the power of persistence. As Archie showed, if you fail, just keep trying and eventually you'll get what you want, food in his case. Following Archie's example, Mark learned to be just as persistent in finding a solution to protect his beloved Archie from an unhealthy habit. Here's the finished portrait. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. To find out how to commission a portrait and video for your cat, visit my website, ilovetodrawcats.com.